Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is detect cycle using DSU and it is going to be a medium level problem. So the problem is uh, not essentially very difficult but uh, there are certain issues with this particular problem regarding the test cases that uh, made this problem like a little bit time consuming for me. You can see I made a couple of wrong submissions and uh, very late I was able to identify what was the issue with the test cases. So normally when uh, you are given a graph problem, there will not be any repeated edges, right? So what I'm saying is, for example, if they have said that there is an edge between one and two, there will be no extra edge between one and two. But that was not the case here. You see what I've done is, uh, I've made a separate adjacency list and this time I've used a set instead of a, a vector, right? So what it, it will essentially do is, it will remove the repeated elements. So uh, what was essentially happening is, let's say I have a uh, node 0 and it zeroes adjacency list. There were multiple ones or multiple twos or something like this was going on. But after I added this particular code and uh, after I recreated my adjacency list with a set, I was able to pass all the test cases. So this was one of the major issues in the test cases. And the second uh, not so big issue was uh, with that uh, the graph, the graph that has been given to us like this can be disconnected. So there can be multiple graphs like this, right, in the same test case. So this was one of the things which I find uh, should, I found should not be there. The primary reason being, if we have a disconnected graph, then we will have to maintain a visited array for this particular problem, right? And if you have, and if you have to maintain a visited array, then we can just find cycles without even using any other method. Right. If you have to meet in the visited array, then why not find the cycles using the visited array only? So this was not that big of an issue, but still I found out that uh, if the graph is disconnected, then we'll have to maintain this visited array. And if we have a visited array already, then we don't need DSU to find the cycles. Right. So essentially we had to find the cycles in this given graph and they say that we have to solve this problem using this join set. Right. So this was the whole issues and uh, it took me a lot of time to figure out these issues. Anyways. So what I've essentially done is, the idea is very, very simple, but uh, for those who are new to DSU, let me just give you a brief idea and I would highly recommend you to watch uh, a playlist on YouTube for all DSU. So let me just open up YouTube. So I I would recommend you to watch Code and Code's playlist. So let me just show you once Code and Code uh, DSU, right? So yeah, so this is the playlist that uh, you will get. And this is a very good playlist, uh, not very huge, it's only 8 videos and you can easily finish it in a day or two and uh, this really explains in detail what is a design set union and uh, what it does and how to implement it and also why we do it in a way we currently do it, right. So still I'm just going to give you a brief idea, the idea of DSU, so DSU is disjoint set union, right. So I would focus on this uh, word set because disjoint is basically used to represent a set of nodes. So there will be multiple nodes which are a set. Set means that they are part of one single component or what we also say connected component in graphs, right? This is what the whole DSU focuses on. Now each set is going to have its own unique parent, right? So these three nodes will be identified using only one node and that will be called the parent. So initially each node is independent, right? So each of them is a parent of itself. But let's say I want to join these two. So based on certain rules, I will decide that either P1 is going to be the parent or P2 is going to be the parent, right? Now, once one of them becomes a parent, so these two will be identified as a single set and will be represented by P1 or P2. So that will be the parent. Now, when I want to discuss another node, right? So let's say this is P3. So this will be considered as one and this will be considered as one. Now, whether I want to join it or not, then uh, a new parent will form, either it will be P1 or it will be P3, right? So this is how the whole thing goes on and this is how we can use DSU. This is the very brief overall uh, high level idea. Now, how do we actually use this particular methodology to find whether there are cycles or not? So let's say there are certain nodes like this. Right, these three nodes are connected. That means these three nodes are part of one set and they will be represented by one single parent, let's say P1. Now let's say I have a different node. I have a different node and I connect, let's say this is P3 and I want to connect these two uh, different sets. 
So if I connect these two different sets, the new parent will either be P1 or it will be P3. So for now, let's say it is going to be P1 only, right? So now th these four nodes, these four nodes are going to be represented by P1. But what happens if I try to join this particular node and this particular node? You will see that the parent of both of the nodes are same. In the previous case, it was P1 and P3, but in this particular case, it is same. That means they are already a part of the same set. And if I'm trying to connect them again, that means this is going to form a cycle, right? So this is how we can identify whether two nodes, whether a new edge is going to form a cycle or not. We can just check what are the parents of those nodes. And if the parents are same, that means this new connection is going to form a cycle. So this is what we have to do in this whole problem essentially. And here I have implemented find and merge function. So these are the standard DSU functions. I will highly recommend you to watch that particular playlist that I just suggested. And uh, after you watch that playlist, you will be able to understand these two functions, right? And if you are already familiar with DSU, then you must be familiar what these functions do. So the find function is going to help me to find the parent of the node P that I pass to it, right? So if I pass a node P, it is going to return me its parent, right? And now merge function is going to help me to merge two different sets or two different nodes, right? So this function does that. So this is the high, this is the high level idea of these functions. If you want to know in detail what, uh, how they are implemented, then you can watch that particular playlist. So again, uh, that playlist is also not mine. I just found that playlist to be very good and I myself studied from that playlist. That is why I'm recommending it. So uh, we have discussed this part that I had to create the adjacency list again with the help of a set, right? Now I have to maintain a visited vector to store what are the nodes that are not visited. And I've initialized my answer variable with zero. So this is this essentially says that I currently I do not have find any loops. So I'm just going through all the nodes. And if the current node is not visited, I'm just going to start a DFS from there. And whatever the result is there, whether a cycle exists or not, I'm going to take a logical or with my current answer. Now inside my DFS function, I mark my current node as visited. And for the current uh, uh, DFS, my answer is going to be false. Now I'm just going to traverse through all the children. If child is not equal to parent, that means I'm not considering the previous node that I just came from. Then I'm going to find the parent of the current node and the child node. So let it be X and Y. So if X is equal to Y, as I've already discussed, if the both of the parents are same, that means I found a cycle and I can just directly return one. Otherwise, I'm going to merge X and Y and then I'm going to set my answer as answer of DFS on the child. And now my parent will become the current node, right? So this is how at the end I can just return my answer variable which will help me to find whether the cycle was present in the current current component or not, right? So at the end I can just return my answer and the solution should work. So again, uh, as we have, as I have discussed, if you do not include this particular part, as for now, the, as per the current test cases, there are multiple edges. So you will have to do something like this or any other thing which will help you to avoid the, the same edges, right? And so this is one thing. And the other thing is you have like disconnected graph in this particular problem. So there might be different connected components. So you will have to maintain a visited array and visit all of the connected components. So these are the two things that you really need to take care of. Otherwise, you will not get your answer accepted. Right. So let me submit this particular solution and show you that this solution is working. And uh, again, I am highly recommending you to watch that particular playlist and you will understand DSU in detail from that particular playlist. So it's, uh, yeah. It's almost done. Yes. So we see that uh, this particular solution is correct. And I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really, really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be, and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So again, I have not explained the details of these DSP functions here because even if I try to explain it here, I would not be able to do justice to this particular topic because it's a very interesting topic. And if you watch that detailed playlist, then it will be much helpful to you. So that's it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe. Bye-bye.